Dozens of people from our area have already made their way to D.C. for the historic event. News Channel 15's Kai Torpesoa has been chatting with them all day. He's in Studio 15 with more. People have been sending us photos all day. I talked to some of them who have experienced this before, as well as some first-timers who can barely contain themselves. I am just elated. I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm almost at a loss for words. 65-year-old Emery McClendon has always wanted to see a president get sworn in. After working passionately for Trump's campaign team, he was rewarded with free tickets for him and his family. In an atmosphere where there will be thousands of people, the air should be charged, you know, very high energy. Looking up on that stage, which is something I've always wanted to do uh, all my entire adult life. The Boys and Girls Club of Huntington County sent a group of girls to the inauguration. I think this gives them a chance to really see up close and personal how um, governmental power is transferred from one president to the next. The program directors were hoping that it'd be Hillary Clinton receiving the baton from Obama. That way, the girls could feel personally inspired by the event, seeing a woman take the White House. You know, when I received the call that we were uh, receiving the tickets, um, I knew that we had to go regardless as to who won the election because, again, this is a once-in-a-lifetime moment. Not many people are able to attend a presidential inauguration. Allen County Council Member Justin Bush is also excited to be in D.C., but this isn't new to him. He was part of George W. Bush's 2005 inauguration team. He says this time around could be slightly different. I think there will be a, a, a lot of uh, fervent and passionate uh, Americans on both sides. I think we'll probably see some protesters there. But I also think we'll see a lot of Americans. Uh, he did win, uh, win the election, so we'll see a lot of his supporters out there uh, excited to, uh, to ring in the new president. New at 6, we talked to a group of Homestead High School students who have made their way to D.C., a youth pastor who's going to share with us his unique experience. In Studio 15, Kaito Pessoa, News Channel 15.